Ask him. Hey, right. Uh, why do you think that uh, Jerry Andrews would, uh, deserves to have a simple computer? Well, Jerry was the most brilliant person I've ever known. Maybe only a high school education formally, but that doesn't make any difference. He, uh, on his own mind, worked out how the mind works, and he, it's exactly the way cognitive psychology today would, would say it works. And um, he also is, uh, you know, he could, he just understood the human mind in many ways. He's the kindest person in the world, and he always tell people he, he the only reason he can fool them is because he, they have a mind just like his. And uh, he never wanted to hurt or insult people. And of course, he was a person who had, he was legendary for his honesty. He never would tell a lie or anything which is difficult for a magician. Uh, and I use one example, uh, how he would go through, had to go through, how, they, how he had to go through extra steps in order, in order to preserve his integrity. And he told me that, and I told him, look, you don't need all those extra steps, he said, yes, I do, it's for my integrity. Uh, so one time he was, uh, we were driving to a conference, and he was sitting in the driver's, in the passenger seat, as always, because and he sits in my car and we're going along the drive. He would have his own little bench and stuff, workbench that he took with him, put in the lab, the field fitted and just like the car. And then he would work all the time and drive and creating this stuff and uh, the scissors and uh, other things. And one time we were, we were driving and he showed me I had to tell him, look, look here, we're driving on this highway, we're going up very fast. Don't, don't, face it. But he would, couldn't resist. He would put the stuff in front of my face and say, please watch this. <laughs> well, he was working out a trick, one trick that uh, he, uh, he would put a card under, uh, in this case, under the dashboard of the car. But he would, oh, there he would be sitting at the table, put it under the table. And, um, then he uh, and would be in his lap when he was sitting at a table. And then he would um, uh, do something and uh, man, you know, manage the car, do something that, as far as the audience is concerned, what's above the table. And he didn't really have to do that, but he was tell would tell him as part of his of the magic trick what he's doing. That he's going to take this car, put it under the table, and then he's going to, you know, make it come back or something. <laughs> Okay, well, he didn't really have to put it under the table. It was an extra step, and it was, uh, but, you see, but it was part of the his story that he goes with this effect. And for Jerry, honest man, he says, well, he, I know I don't have to do that and put it under there, it's an extra step, but it's part of my story, I'm telling him that I'm doing that, and I have to do it. <laughs> and he would do things like that. Sometimes he'd handicap himself because he wanted to stay honest. He didn't want to, even if he do it out to foolish people, he still wanted to be honest. And I remember at one time, some people asked him, how did you do that? Some of these were magicians. Even. He says, you know, I can't tell you, so please don't ask me. <laughs> and he begged them, say, please don't ask me. <laughs> but he was, a, he was a wonderful man, but he was, people, used to people think he was idiosyncratic, because he was very honest, but to a T over there, that was, he was, uh, but that was him, and, uh, and he was uh, always wanting to make sure the audience never was put down in any way. He always did, began every magic session he was doing, he'd say, look, before I begin, I want to let you know I'm doing things, and hopefully I'm going to fool you, but you're not being fooled. Don't think you're in some way you're inferior because I can fool you. I can fool you because you have a mind that works like that. <laughs> and uh, and he did things obviously like that. He was uh, just uh, just wanted to make sure that he was never insulting anyone, or putting anyone down, and stuff like that. He was just an un unusual man. Now, in any other person, uh, in fact, when I first met him, I would say this guy's a kook. Because, <laughs> but then it turned out that's him. <laughs> and he and he turned to right, and we call it in psychology idiosyncratic credit. He's earned it. He's earned the right to be the kook, if that's what you want to call him, something like that. Because he's such a great man, he's done some great things. He was a real genius.
I didn't know many geniuses in my life, but Jerry was a genius. Thank you.